So we're going to go back to some of the extras that you can do on your bivariate data project, some of the things that can build in some depth to your analysis. The first one we're going to look about is talking about the R values that you can get from NZ Graph or whatever graphing program you might be using. Now, the R value is the regression correlation coefficient. It's mathematically calculated um, to give you a kind of measure of how well the data fits the, the line that's been picked. So it can tell us how closely it fits the data. Um, it's up there on the top left hand corner once you've gone on to NZ Graph and you have clicked the regression line. Now for all of these videos on the extras, I'm just going to do it with the simple um, linear model applied to the whole of the data, not the, the split piecewise data that I took you through um, as being a better fit for this particular um, set of data. But on this one, we'd, if we just plotted a straightforward one linear regression line, that's what it would come up with. And up here in the top left hand corner, it gives us the equation of that line and the R value associated with that line. So that is the regression correlation coefficient. We've got a 0.94701. So then that can be um, thought of as being on a scale between minus one and one, where one is perfect positive correlation, so everything is going up to the right, and minus one is perfect negative correlation, so everything's going down to the right, and a zero is no correlation at all. Now, we never get anything that's perfect. It's, you're never going to get a perfect one or a perfect zero or perfect minus one. There's going to be somewhere in between. So then we have these markers that give us an idea of how to talk about just how strong it is. So 0 0.9 would be regarded as very strong, 0 0.8 strong, 0 0.6 would be moderate, and anything less than that, we're talking about it being a weak correlation. Now, there are a few examples of data sets in NZ Grapher, and we're going to have a quick look at each of those. So we'll take a closer look at these four and zoom in in a minute. But the first thing to note is that it's super important, like we've talked about in the videos before, that you do a visual inspection first and you back it up with what the R value tells you and not the other way around. You don't decide on what type of correlation you've got from the R value. You talk about um, whether the, the correlation is strong or not first and then say this is backed up because my R value is such and such. So if we take a look at the kiwi bird's height versus weight, we can see we've got a regression coefficient of 0.5, and you can see that scatters generally going up to the right, but it's very weak. So that's a weak positive correlation. If we look at the marathon runner's stride length versus their time to complete the marathon, we get a negative 0.9, so we've got a very strong negative correlation. If we take a look at the athletes um, data of BMI versus body fat. Uh, we've got no correlation there. It's pretty close to being zero um, at 0.18756. And then if we take a look at those same athletes, but their height versus their weight, we've got a strong positive correlation. It's almost 0.8. Um, and that would be the number that we can use to back up what we've seen visually. So that's a little bit extra that you can use to support what you're saying about uh, the correlation in your analysis.